Did you know the Philippine has a unique genetic mix? But to understand the genetics of the Filipino people, we need to travel far back in time. Farther than the Spanish era. Farther than the age of kings and warriors. And even farther than the first written stories. We have to go all the way to a time when humans were still exploring the world for the very first time. Scientists discovered something amazing. Some Filipino groups, like the Ida, Adi, and other Negrito communities, carry DNA that is over 50,000 years old. Yes, 50,000 that that's older than the pyramids. Older than farming. Older than most human civilizations. This tells us something incredible. Their ancestors were among the first humans who left Africa, walked across ancient lands, and reached Southeast Asia long, long ago. And instead of moving on, they settled in the islands that would later become the Philippines. These early humans didn't have modern tools. They didn't have maps. They didn't have technology. But they survived, and not just for a short time. They lived through massive climate changes, times when the world went through ice ages, when sea levels rose and islands formed, and when new animals and plants appeared. They survived natural disasters, droughts, storms, and everything nature threw at them. Their children passed on their strength, generation after generation. Today, their DNA still lives inside many Filipinos. Scientists say it is like having a time machine hidden inside the body. A record of how early humans lived, traveled, and survived thousands of years ago. It connects modern Filipinos to some of the oldest humans in Asia, making their genetic history one of the richest in the world. Now, things get even more amazing. When scientists studied Filipino DNA, they found something strange, something rare, something that almost feels like it came from another world. They discovered a tiny piece of genetic information that does not come from modern humans at all. It comes from a completely different human species, one that no longer exists. The Denisovans lived thousands and thousands of years ago, during a time when the world was shared by different kinds of humans that IT wasn't just us. Back then, Earth was home to modern humans, Neanderthals, Denisovans, and other mysterious groups we still don't fully understand. These groups sometimes crossed paths, and sometimes they mixed. And even though the Denisovans later disappeared, a small part of their DNA survived inside the people of today. Here's where it gets truly shocking. Some Filipino groups, especially the Ida and other indigenous communities, have the highest amount of Denisovan DNA in the entire world. Higher than Australia. Higher than Papua New Guinea. Higher than Southeast Asia. This discovery surprised scientists so much that they studied it again and again, and they kept finding the same result. Filipino DNA holds one of the strongest traces of this ancient, mysterious human species. It may have helped early Filipinos survive tropical climates, high mountains, and heavy forests. It may explain certain strengths, certain features, and even certain health traits. This is the second layer of the Filipino genetic story. A secret connection to a human species that disappeared long ago, but still whispers through the DNA of many Filipinos today. Now that we've seen the ancient roots of the Filipino people, let's fast forward thousands of years into the future, to a time when a new group of humans began an incredible journey across the oceans. These people were called the Austronesians, and they were not ordinary travelers. They were some of the best sailors in ancient history. But these boats were strong. Strong enough to cross huge oceans. Strong enough to reach faraway islands that no one had ever seen before. Around 4,000 years ago, the Austronesians left Taiwan and began moving south. They followed the stars, the ocean waves, and the wind. Their journey brought them to the islands we now call the Philippines. These Austronesians didn't just pass through, they settled. They formed villages grew crops, fished, and built communities. This is why some Filipino words sound similar to Hawaiian, Maori, or even Malagasy words from Madagascar. After settling in the Philippines, the Austronesians kept exploring, going even farther into the Pacific Ocean. They reached Hawaii, New Zealand, Fiji, Tahiti, and even Madagascar, which is on the other side of Africa. So the third layer of the Filipino genetic story is this. Filipinos are the descendants of bold explorers, people who trusted the ocean, people who sailed into the unknown, and people whose courage helped shape not only the Philippines, but the entire Pacific region. Now imagine this for a moment. For thousands of years, the Philippines was not just a group of islands. 
It was a crossroads, a meeting place that a giant mixing bowl where different peoples, cultures, and histories came together. First, you had the ancient Negrito groups, the early humans who had lived in the islands for tens of thousands of years. They knew the mountains, the forests, the rivers, and the land better than anyone else. Then came the Austronesian voyagers, brave sailors who traveled across the ocean, settling on new shores and building villages along the coasts. When these two groups met, something beautiful happened. They shared stories, food, traditions, and eventually, families. Their DNA blended, creating new communities, the early ancestors of many Filipinos today. But the story doesn't end there. Over hundreds of years, more people from different parts of the world visited the islands. The Chinese traders came for gold, pearls, and spices. They built friendships with locals, and some stayed permanently. My Arab merchants traveled across Southeast Asia and introduced new ideas and traditions. Indian travelers brought influences in clothing, language, and legends. Japanese settlers arrived during ancient trading periods. Later, Spanish and Mexican people came during the colonial era, leaving cultural and genetic footprints that still exist today. All these different waves of people didn't erase the old Filipino roots. Instead, they layered onto them, like adding new chapters to a storybook. Each group left behind a small piece of themselves. A word. A belief that a sprinkle of DNA. So the Philippines became a place where ancient island hunters, ocean-crossing voyagers, Asian traders, Arab merchants, Spanish settlers, and Pacific people all played a part in shaping the Filipino identity. This is what makes Filipino genetics so rare. It's not just one culture. It's a blend of different worlds. And somehow, after all these influences, the Filipino spirit still remains unique, strong, and unmistakable. This mix, this beautiful combination of ancient and modern, is one of the reasons Filipinos stand out in Asia and around the world. Now that we've explored the ancient roots, the mystery DNA, the fearless ocean travelers, and the beautiful mix of cultures, we can finally answer the big question. What exactly makes Filipino genetics truly unique? One dot very ancient roots. Filipinos carry some of the oldest human DNA in Asia. This comes from the Ida, Adi, and other Negrito groups who have lived in the islands for over 50,000 years. Their DNA is like a living museum, a record of the first humans who walked through Southeast Asia, survived massive climate changes, and built early human communities long before cities or kingdoms existed. Not many people in the world have DNA this ancient, but many Filipinos do point to high Denisovan DNA. This is the part that surprises even the scientists. Many Filipinos carry DNA from the Denisovans, an extinct human species that disappeared thousands of years ago. Why is this important? Because this DNA holds clues about how humans adapted to new environments, new climates, and new challenges. This tiny piece of ancient DNA is one of the reasons Filipino genetics is so special. Point three. Over thousands of years, the Philippines welcomed and mixed with many different groups. Negrito ancestors. Austronesian sailors, East Asian traders, Arab merchants, Indian visitors, Pacific Islanders, Spanish and Mexican settlers, later Asian and Western influences. This mixture created a genetic identity that is unlike any other country in Southeast Asia or the world. It is a blend of oceans and mountains, of explorers and survivors, of ancient humans and brave voyagers, of cultures that met and mixed across centuries. When you combine all of this, the ancient roots, the rare Denisovan DNA, and the mix of many cultures, you get something truly extraordinary. Filipino DNA becomes a living timeline, a story written across thousands of years, carried inside every Filipino today. It is strong that IT is diverse. It is rare that IT is uniquely Filipino. So now that we've seen every chapter of the Filipino genetic story, let's bring it all together. When you look at a Filipino today, you're not just seeing one culture, one people, or one history. You are seeing something far bigger, something that took tens of thousands of years to create. You're seeing the ancient strength of the first humans who walked across Southeast Asia. Humans who survived ice ages, storms, and changing oceans. You're seeing the courage of the Austronesian voyagers. Explorers who trusted the stars, rode powerful waves, and discovered islands across the Pacific and Indian Oceans. 
you're seeing pieces of the Denisovans, a mysterious human species that disappeared long ago, but still lives on inside many Filipinos today. You're seeing the gifts of traders, travelers, and settlers from China, India, Arabia, Japan, Spain, Mexico, and many other lands. People who came with their ideas, their languages, their skills, and their genes, and became part of the Filipino story. Filipino DNA is not simple. It is not ordinary. It is one of the richest genetic tapestries in the world. And what's even more beautiful, through all these changes, influences, and mixtures, Filipinos still kept their identity, their warmth, their resilience, their strong family bonds, their creativity, and their spirit. Every Filipino today carries a story of survival, a story of travel, a story of courage, a story of connection. It's a reminder that no matter where you come from or what challenges you face, you are part of a long, powerful line of people who adapted, thrived, and kept going. And that is the beauty of the Filipino genetic story. It is ancient that IT is diverse. It is rare that IT is proud. And it is something that will keep inspiring the world for generations to come.